He's a Holocaust survivor. Oh, What's your name, goodness. sir? Harris. Harris? Frischer. Frischer. Uh, yeah, Harris, my first time. How old are you now? Yeah. Nine, uh, October 15, 91 years old. 91. That's really And I was 13 years old when they took me away to camp. Where'd they take you? Uh, to camp. Which one? I was in about seven, eight camp. I was born in Poland, six kilometers from Auschwitz. So it's not yet much. I still speak three languages. Polish? Which language? Polish, German, and uh, Russian a little. Um, were you liberated from one of the camps? Yeah. In, uh, which, which camp? Gross Rosen. Gross Rosen. By which army? Uh, uh, first the American came, then the Russians. And from the Russians, uh, uh, I belong to the INRA, UNRA. They took me over to America. On the American side, when we went on the train, they make believe when they check you out, just speak Yiddish, you know, they shouldn't understand. And I worked in New York for 35 cents an hour. I kissed the dirt. I was so happy I got 35 cents. Were you a tailor? What did you do? Nothing. For a job. So they taught me how to sew this, this. I was so sick. When I was liberated, whatever I ate, everything came out to my body. And then you went in. Why did they? Why did they keep you alive and not and not send you with the children who were not workers? You see, I was young and strong, and I speak the languages. Like the engineers, I used to work for the engineers. You know, to show how high this, you know, when they look, the street go this way. So I understood German very well. So they kept me there. I got the one year job there in the camp. You were a slave laborer there. You had no money, no food. If you would have cut my ribs, I was less than 90 pounds. Whatever I ate, everything came out of my body. And now, when, when you see those here, some of them who fought in World War II, what do you feel when you see them in the hospital? World War II veterans. Uh, I belong to the veteran. We joined. Six, six out eight. Because the Americans liberated him. We thank the Lord that the Russians, because the Russians have been liberated, but the Americans. So that's why they have and then, oh, you joined the Jewish War Veterans as a group? Yeah, yeah. yeah. we belong here. That's why we do a lot. I'm a volunteer here, too. Yeah. What's your name? Gertrude Schrager. This is my second yeah, wife. I go under my maiden name, Schrager. Schrager. She was German. born in New York. Yeah. I nursed him back to health. He only weighed about 90 pounds or 80 pounds. Yes. I was so sick. I don't wish this no He knocked his teeth out. Yeah. They hit him Three over weeks with a shovel. before the liberation, they tapped him blood on his brain. in the head. I fell down. The, the Nazis snow. did. Yeah, yeah the sure. SS. Yeah. Do, uh, do you understand German? Do for flock the shrine. You lousy Jew bastard. And with a shovel, chew. You don't put it in, in a tank gas. The motor doesn't go. Dig fast enough. What's that? I didn't meet a pig. He was digging. And he, he didn't do it fast. He had no strength. Yeah. He only weighed so little. Oh, so they smacked him? Yeah, hit him over the head. Over the head. I was bleeding. And, and lucky this girl. No medicine, no doctor. In each town, the SS, they were married. So they used to have girlfriends. So she brought him. This guy, Lapke, he was 6'4", 6'5", 
They spoke Polish, French, and German. So when I was laying on the floor, I didn't care to live no more. So you know, uh, in the winter time, the Germans were wearing little things and the sweaters and the rifle across my adrenaline. I didn't care to live. This was uh, three weeks after the li before the liberation. Yeah. So I was laying on the floor with my face down. So I couldn't take it no more. So I answered them in German, Du verfluchter Schwein, you lousy German bastard. Whatever came on my tongue, I talked to the assessment. The, the, he was tall and he couldn't hear my voice. So he, with the boots, he was trying to lay me down on my back. So his girlfriend brought him bre breakfast. She called him Rapke, come here. So he left me lay, and the guys came over. They put the snow on my head. And when, now, when I come into the camp, if I'm sick, they put me in the gas chamber. So uh, we used to go on fours. One, two, three, four. So instead to stay one, I skipped in number two. As soon as I came, while they were counting, nobody uh, could escape. If you would escape, they take 500 Jews and they shoot them. Yeah. No reason. Uh, food. You, you, uh, the only thing why we survive, uh, we were building the autobahn in Germany. Yeah. So the the dirt there was found with potatoes. So when we were digging, we found a half a potato, a big potato. If you would give me 10 carat diamond ring, I wouldn't take it. But I took the potato to, to fill up my so stomach. You could survive, wow. Yeah. Uh, and I was three sisters and three brothers. And I was the baby who I survived. You're the only one who survived from your family? Yeah, yeah. But now, when you come with the JWV, you. you uh, I had uh, dunk out. Uh, uh, I was so sick before. If not get it, my second wife, she took care of me. I had two surgeries about five months ago. Uh, on my prostate, it always dunk out. I'm still strong. October 15 was my birthday, 91 years old. And so the lady says to me, Mr. Fisher, do you know how much is your vision? 2020. Your vision's I don't, perfect. Wow. I have to have something. <laughs>